What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I want to share with you some of the items I bought for me to make my pull cue. Here are the items I got to make a pull cue. We'll go ahead and start off with the pin. This is going to be a radial pin. It's a brass pin. I just got the brass pin so that I can have it for the weight. And I plan to do a white joy color with a black ring. And the forearm, I got this from Pratter. This is a six point with Kobodi wood and veneers. This has the black, the silver, the blue, and the white with the Kobodi um, wood. And this is, like I said, six point on curly maple. And they also sent me an extra Kobodi wood and we'll do the measurement. I plan to use this for the butt sleeve. And I plan to join it with this joint pin, but I plan to cut this to four inches long and put it together. The handle is curly maple and I got this wood from Bell Forest and I plan to use um, black rings on the joints itself. And I also ordered an extra um, curly maple. And this is gonna be the butt cap. It's gonna be white with a Southwest style um, bumper. So let's go ahead, measure everything so that you can see we how long every item, um, how long each wood is when you get them from the manufacturer itself. So let's go ahead and start off with the forearm. So the forearm is just a little bit over 13 inches long. And they send me this extra Kabuti wood and it's just under five inches long. And this is the curly maple from Bell Forest again. And I requested 18 and they send it over 18. And the thickness is on the one and a half. And the extra wood is a little bit over six inches. What I requested, oh, just on six, six inches and it's over. And of course, and it's a one and a half on the width. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on my lay and hopefully it comes out to a nice pull cue. Here's the finish cue, as you can see. Like I said, this is the six point with the brass pin and white joint collars. And I use the black ring. And then these are the veneers. It has black, silver, blue, and white. And this is uh, Bocody wood. And I signed it right here. And it's made with a curly maple. And it has another ring, Bacote wood again. And I line this up with this knot, try to get it with these knots. And then this with these. Also line this up. This is a curly maple. And then there's a ring and a white butt cap and a Southwest style bumper. I actually tapped this to actually fit a Predator extension and but it was messing me up I didn't like it so I'm gonna go back and I never use an extension anyways so I'm just gonna put the regular bumper on but I'll show you how that one fits let's go ahead and weigh the cue I removed the bumper to show you that I don't put weights inside my cue at all it's just all natural so with the weight and this is the Southwest style bumper. As you can see, the weight of the cue is 13.95. And if I put the Predator extension bumper, it will be 14.15. With the um, shaft, the Revo shaft, this is a 12.9. It would weigh 18.15. And the way I like playing with it is actually this way, is the 17.95. We put this on, like I said, this was threaded, as you can see how I uh, threaded it. You can actually install the Predator bumper extension on it. Makes it nice and tight. I don't really like the look of it. So, and I don't really use extensions. I like using the bridge. And this gives it a nice cleaner look. 
So let's go ahead and take the length and the roll test. So the length of the Q, do the total length without the bumper. As you can see, I made it exactly 29 inches long. So making this a 58 inch Q with, um, with the playing shaft. And well, let's go ahead and put these together and we can do the roll test and see how straight it is. So let's go ahead and put the shaft on and you can see how flush it is. It's flush to the shaft itself. And if you notice the rings, how I matched it. So this is the Revo ring and this is the ring I made and it goes throughout the whole queue. It has a brick in the patterns. Let's go ahead and do the roll test. And you can look at the tip. Pretty much no wobble and see how straight it is. And if you lay it on the table, no wobbles at all. That's with together. And of course, they always want to do a part. So you can see the pin, see how straight that pin is. And you see how there's no gaps on the cue itself. I just did a brief review on the cue I made. Hopefully this video is informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye. I just did a brief review on the queue I made. <laughs>